Good day, folks. Welcome to your daily OCC Queensland weather wrap on the 18th of Feb 2023. My name's Chris Nitzo. This update brought to you by a major sponsor, TownsvilleSheds.com. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed safe, gridded shed. We got a low pressure system located near Tennant Creek this morning. It's driving a steep tropical moisture flow into northwest Queensland. We've also got quite a bit of light patchy rain coming off that deep convection, um, pushing eastwards with the upper level winds. We've got showers coming onto the northeast Queensland coastline from the Herbert region northwards. We do expect to see some showers heading a little further south through the day today. Isolated showers and thunderstorms also across parts of the Cape York Peninsula and they're pretty slow moving. So if you get under them, there's potential there for some good rainfall. 23 hours till 9 o'clock in the morning. We've seen some good falls once again across northeast Queensland. Not Certainly not quite the, the intensity that we had the day before, but still some good falls nonetheless. 50 to 85 millimetres across that section of coastline. Fantastic to see. Uh, the northwestern parts of the state also seeing some very good falls with, with falls up around the 50 to 75 millimetres through this section as well. You can see Julia Creek here. Uh, having rainfall around 60 millimetres, Dougald River, so unfortunate what happened with the uh, miners, and uh, we do offer our condolences to those families there. 52 millimetres of rain won't be doing uh, won't be doing any good for the investigators there. Uh, Century Mine, 52 millimetres as well. So we've had some pretty good falls across uh, northwest Queensland, and we haven't got the nine o'clock figures in yet. So there's some stations that don't record until nine o'clock. So we won't really know the spread and the, intent, the extent of the rainfall until all the stations record back in an hour or two. So looking at our surface winds this morning, we've got our low near Tannin Creek. It's pretty washed out. It's almost a trough now. Uh, it's driving a deep northerly flow into the Gulf, though, and we can see a bit of squeezing on the northeast tropical coastline here between the east southeasterlies and the easterlies. Uh, the expectation is that we're going to see increased or continue to see those increased showers along that coastline for at least the rest of today. Uh, right, as we go through the day into this evening, we can see that southeasterly winds are maintained across this section of coastline, so it is going to be quite uncomfortable if you're out on the water in northeast Queensland. From a rainfall perspective today, we're expecting to see lots of showers over the Herbert and Cassery coastlines. We're expecting that uh, that area of rain and storms right around Princess Charlotte Bay and Cape Melville to be maintained for the next few hours. We're expecting widespread showers and thunderstorms in the Gulf Country. Through the rest of the day, we'll start to see some showers developing both on the coast and inland, or continuing on the coast and developing inland as the afternoon progresses. We're also going to see some high-based convection down here around the southern parts of Queensland, particularly in the Maranoa Warrego and the eastern half of the Channel Country. Light patchy rain could come off some of the deeper convection out here in northwest Queensland and stream eastwards through central inland Queensland, northern parts of central inland Queensland anyway, and showers and storms up around the Cape as per normal in a monsoon break type environment. Tonight, continuation of shower activity on the coastline in the northeast Queensland. We will start to see those showers break up tomorrow, though, to become a bit more isolated. And continuation of overnight convection in the Gulf Country, northwest Queensland, and the western parts of Cape York Peninsula into tomorrow morning. And you can see by tomorrow morning how that, how that uh, northeast Queensland stream shower activity starts to really break down. Rainfall between now and 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. We can see some heavy falls on the northeast tropical coastline, primarily north of Townsville, uh, all the way through that uh, Cassery coast up to the Daintree coast. The potential there, localised falls in the 50 to 100 range. Uh, not everywhere, though, not quite as widespread as it has been, but certainly still plenty more showers to come here for at least the next 12 to 18 hours. Some showers and, and uh, possible thunderstorms extending westwards too into the northeast interior, and we see this uh, convective activity up here in the Cape. Convective activity in the afternoon on the Western Cape and lots of rain from shower storms and general rain rain areas across northwest Queensland. I suggest that the model's probably overestimating rainfall there near Mount Isa, but the idea is uh, we could see widespread moderate to heavy falls. So widespread falls in the 20 to 50 plus millimetre range. And you'll notice those storms down in southern Queensland unable to produce a hell of a lot of rain just because they're mid-level based storms. So there's very little moisture near the surface. For more details on anything we spoke about today, and if you'd like to support our work, head over to join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au. Check out our subscription options and I'll see you in there. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.